Hello, good morning and welcome to another video and welcome to a full day of training with some eating with myself and... Hello. My brother, Jamie Crawley. He was playing cricket down south yesterday and he is up with me for a couple of days today and tomorrow as we are bringing him up to speed on some business related activities as he joins Omnia and the Modern Mind in some capacity. So we are on our way into Edinburgh for a 8.15 breakfast booking. It is 7.31 just now and we're gonna have breakfast and then we are gonna settle into a meeting room for a couple of hours to go through some admin stuff, get Jamie set up on a few things, and then we are gonna to head to Lyft for a bro session. And it's funny, because we're, we're, we're brothers, you see, so that's a double entendre, my friends. Beyond that, we will touch base with you as the day unfolds, but we have a lifting session, we have a running session this evening, and when in Rome, or when in Edinburgh in Jamie's case, we might as well eat like we did when we were teenagers fighting over the tubs of Ben & Jerry's in the freezer, and have a good day doing it. So we will see you at breakfast. I think at this point it's probably worth mentioning that Jamie isn't only just coming to the end of his first season as a pro cricketer, but is actually arguably a better athlete than I, as in 2020 when I did a 500 pound bat squat and sub five minute mile on the same day, Jamie did a 500 pound deadlift and 453 mile in the same day. So on the screen somewhere for you now. Okay, just settled in a meeting room where we are going to go through a few things for the next two and a half hours. I have had a fantastic breakfast. I had a latte, a pan of chocolate, and some sweet corn fritters with two poached eggs. And you had? Uh, also a pan of chocolate, a flat white, and avocado on toast with two poached eggs. Delicious. Right, we will catch up with you in about two and a half hours. Okay, we have gone circa 2018 pre-workout behavior by getting a Monster Ultra and a pre-workout crunchy, which is not something I normally recommend, but it's what we used to do for years training in the home gym. So we're feeling nostalgic, aren't we, Jamie? Indeed, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Turn right here and then we'll go by the office. And we're on our way to lift now. So we are gonna hit a bro session, made mainly just beach, beach work, really, as it's that time of the year. Obviously not gonna hit calves as that's a complete waste of everybody's time. And we will see you there. Today's video is sponsored by the folks over at AG1. And let's be honest, you're probably not eating as many fruits and vegetables as your mother told you to whilst growing up. I know that I'm not, and I treat AG1 very much as a bit of an insurance policy. I've been using them for just over three months now, and I'm not saying it is a substitute for fruit and vegetables, absolutely not. But what I am saying is by having a serving a day, you are setting yourself up to give that little bit of insurance, that foundation beneath you for the days where you maybe don't have that spinach and broccoli that you said you would. AG1 has allowed me to simplify my morning supplement intake by providing me with 75 vitamins and minerals, probiotics, and adaptogens when I have it first thing in the morning, all in one convenient daily serving. When focusing on training goals, it is important to focus on macronutrition, but sometimes we can lose sight of micronutrition, and that's where by having a balanced diet and supplementing with AG1, you can provide your body with the support that it needs to be performing at its best on a regular basis. The other cool thing about AG1 is the concentration of high quality ingredients that you often might not find in your regular diet, like ashwagandha, mushroom complexes, and digestive enzymes. Lastly, AG1 is made in New Zealand and is NSF certified for sport, which means that you can sip with confidence. So if you're the sort of person that buys green vegetables from the supermarket with the best of intentions, but then finds them rotting at the back of the fridge and you're looking for a greens powder that doesn't taste like soil, then why not try AG1 today? And if you do, you'll get yourself some free vitamin D3 and K2 alongside five free travel packs. So check out the link in the description down below to grab yourself some today. And thank you very much to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Okay, goodbye, thank you.
I'm normally the one doing the driving, so given that I have somebody shuttling me about today, it's become the default location. So apologies for not too much variety in the background, but that was our bro session done. We had some incline dumbbell press, we had some single arm rows, we had some lap pull down machines, we had some lateral raises, we had some preacher curls, we had some rolling tricep extensions, and we had some dumbbell walking lunges. Now we are having a barbells protein milkshake each. You are off for a cricket session, I am off for some lunch. You'll need some lunch as well actually, won't you? Yeah, what, what do you fancy? What do you fancy? I feel like a nice sandwich. A uh, sandwich, oui oui, oui oui. I can maybe get you a sandwich actually. Yeah. What sort of sandwich do you like? Um, I don't know, maybe like a nice toasty or something? You asked for a sandwich. No, but it was in like a toasted sandwich, maybe like chicken, pesto... That's a technicality, a toasted mozzarella. sandwich, okay. Chicken, pesto, mozzarella? Something like that. See what I can do, Christ. But nonetheless, we are on our way to Stockbridge, which is an area in Edinburgh for anyone that knows or cares. You can have cricket, I can have lunch, we'll see you there. Shock, another check-in in the car. You know what, I'm gonna put my hood up this time to change the uh, the backdrop a little. That car's just done you there. Anyway, we are now on the way back to the house. It is 4.14, that was quite a long batting session. I got a fair amount of work done, I had a decaf coffee and the lunch that you saw a landscape photo of earlier. I am actually getting too hot, so I'm gonna take this back down, but it served this purpose, so we are gonna get back to the house, and then we're gonna head out for a run and have an evening of deliciousness. Hello. Okay, hello, good evening. It is seven minutes, it's actually just turned eight minutes past six. I almost lied to you there, sorry everyone. And we are about to go on a 5k out, 5k back run, better known as... Matenko. He's good, he's good. That's why he's joining the business. For the past hour or so, we've mainly been wrestling with the dogs. I've cracked on with some work. Jamie's got changed because he was criminally in shorts from school, which you were given 10 years ago. But have you been doing much running recently? No, not much. One or two sessions a week, I'd say. That's more than most. More than most, yeah. Compared to your fittest ever, how do you feel? On a scale of one to 453 mile, how do you feel? In a mile timing, or? We'll go with yes, for the sake of this. Mm. I'd say 530. That wasn't be the scale. Pessimistic. One to 453. You were meant to give a one to, so it's one to nine, or 453. That was pretty clear. That makes no sense. It was pretty clear. I thought that was clear. So give it, just give a number. Seven. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's better than I thought. All right, okay, well, we should probably go around, I think. kilometer ago that was just a zone two run in so 10 kilometers and 80 meters according to me 10 kilometers bang on for you 44 51 felt good and you know what's pretty bloody annoying he looked very smooth for somebody who hasn't been doing that much running recently and he felt it too didn't you yeah felt good anyway yeah that felt pretty solid happy with that nice to actually just get out a bit cold and a bit blustery but i think we tucked in quite nicely i was probably drafting more than you were Taking in the sights, taking, about nine, nine, taking seven, some, nine, taking but... some free heart rate control. But what do you, what do you think? If you were to go full send 10k, what do you think you go for at the moment? Based on that, do you think you'd knock on 40? I'd definitely be there or thereabouts, I reckon. Anyway, I think it's about time that we turn up the heat. Right now. I'm starving. Okay, so three pizzas each down, and I am full of regret. And pizza, funnily enough, I knew each to finish. You look very pale on this side of your face. Quite You're welcome. Quite ginger as well. You're welcome. Not as ginger as pig. 
You are equally ginger. Well done, well done. Anyway, we're gonna consume these. It's just gone 9 p.m. and that was a fairly productive day of bringing Jamie up to speed on several things as he will be joining Omnia Performance in an events capacity. Anyway, that is exciting. There's lots to be happening there. Can't really update you on much yet as today was kind of just establishing exactly what the job description looks like and what week one next week will entail. So Jamie will be around more often. I think it's fair to say, which means if you'd like to see more shenanigans like today, I appreciate this video has been quite chaotic, but he is a bit of a savage. Anything to add? Not really, no. Just a solid day around. So like the video, comment and subscribe. Oh, like the video, comment and subscribe. Well and well pronounced. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed today. If you do want to see more of Jamie, comment down below. Other than that, thank you very much for watching the video. I'm going to consume my new E. I've ruined it. Okay, goodbye everyone.